I'm Mark. How are you? <clears throat> a little frustrated at the moment. Also equally depressed and pessimistic about our date tonight. Sure. It, it takes you in lots of directions. I mean, I've always tried to do sort of comedy plus. I've never just done knockabout comedy and gags. I think that's very wearing in an hour and a half film. So I've always tried to put in a little bit of drama, some sort of emotional story. And um, this asks quite big questions. It's quite a philosophical film. And you write about what you know. I did a degree in philosophy and I've never used it till now. So um, it's nice to, you know, sit back and think, what do I know? What can I share with the world that's slightly different? And um, you bring your own particular blend of all your experiences and um, hopefully entertain as well. Oh, I came to tell you that I can't watch a movie with you tonight. Why not? Because I have a date. She cannot tell a lie and she gets hit on by the first guy in the world who can tell a lie. So it's very confusing to her because she's never heard anything that wasn't exactly face value true before. I've always hated you. You've always hated you. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of people know it. Slick back hair is a throwback homage to sort of a 1950s quasi tough guy hard case. I wanted him to think he was like some kind of like macho, you know, hit me in the like Robert Conrad. Remember the battery hit it off? That, that's who this guy is. I'm black. I knew it. I'm an Eskimo. Fantastic. I'm a one armed German space explorer. When's your launch date? I play a guy, is, uh, what's my character's name? Greg. I never read the script. I'm not really in the movie. No, um, I played a guy named Greg who's kind of a slug. I kind of am happy if I have food in me and I've got a beer in front of me. And Ricky's my friend and I admire him a lot. And I just react, because we live in this world of all truth, so I just react to stuff the way I see it. And it's a little bit close to me. It's like me with a couple more pounds on me and a little less hope for the future. It was amazing. I mean, we'd look at the schedule every day and it would be like, you know, camp where you get to just meet your hero every day. And every day, Ricky and I would call each other on the cell phones in the car on the way to set. Oh, can you believe that Jeffrey Tambor is going to be there today? Or can you believe Tina Fey is going to be there? Every day was, you know, somebody brand new that we were, you know, we mostly cast them because A, we're huge fans and B, they were right for the part. But I mean, the part where we're huge fans was just exciting every day because you get to go and hang out with the people you idolize. Any messages? Anthony is coming up within the hour to see if he can get up the courage to fire you. If he can't, he said that he'll definitely do it tomorrow.